Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to talk about the power of silence with the narcissist. The power of silence with the narcissist because being quiet can be powerful in life. It can definitely be a powerful tool that you can use when you need to and you know you'll have to be able to, be able to discern when these times are but with a narcissist it's a wonderful tool to use and I'm going to talk about why. But I want to start out by sharing a quote by Plato and some of you may have heard this quote before and some of you may not. But here's the quote. He once wrote, a wise person speaks because he or she has something to say. A fool speaks because he or she has to say something. So which one are you? <laughs> it's going to require you to think a little bit. But, you know, if we all get honest with ourselves, we've been on both sides of the coin. But just hopefully as we grow and evolve, evolve in life, we'll be the former more than the latter, right? So that's what I want to talk about here. I'm going to give you five reasons why um, silence is powerful within, when we're dealing with a narcissist, okay? First of all, um, let's remember that the narcissists are attention seeking, okay? So by you exercising the power of silence, in this instance, you are starving them of the supply that they want because narcissists, you know, supply to them could be positive or negative. And I've sta stated this in several videos, but um, keeping silent gives them nothing, gives them no acknowledgement. So for their at attention seeking ways and always wanting to be acknowledged by you staying silent, you keep that from them as far as you're concerned. And number two, let's always keep in mind that out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So through your silence, what you'll probably find to happen will be that the narcissist will get angry and they will start talking even more to you. They're going to start saying all these negative, nasty things, and it's not going to feel good. It's not going to be nice or pleasant, but this truth will further validate your stance in separating yourself from this narcissist. So actually by being silent, you might actually get a couple of sprinkles of truth out of this narcissist for once, right? <laughs> out of their narcissistic rage, because you're going to cause an injury, a narcissistic injury to them by being silent. But that will trigger them to now drop their mask mm -hmm. and tell you how they really feel about you. Okay, so that that's the second reason there. The third reason is to protect yourself and guard yourself because you have to remember when we're dealing with these narcissists, they have all these smear campaigns, they're slandering you, and it just prevents further confusion and gossiping and manipulation because if you're talking to them, they're going to be able to talk back and you're, you're playing tennis with the um, narcissist at this point, okay? And we want to win the game and not just the set. So we don't have to have the last word. But they're taking, if you're texting, emailing, and they're going to show all this stuff to their family members. Like, I remember the last narcissist, he he got me um, one time at the height of my rage. You know, it was very justified considering all the things that he'd done to me. But, you know, a better approach for me at that time would have been to be silent. But instead, I was cursing him out and I was saying all these negative things to him. And he was already trying to paint himself as a victim to all his family and friends. So showing them this, you know, all these text messages from me seemingly being aggressive and mean to him while he's trying to come off as the victim, it furthered his agenda. It furthered his agenda. All right, because they don't know the whole story. They just know what he's saying. And he'll take any pieces of the puzzle of the situation that he thinks will work in his favor, of course. And this is what they do, guys. So that's why sometimes the power of silence is protecting yourself in the smear campaign and, and all the things that I just said there. 
All right. And number four, I want you to think about meditation, because a lot of times when we're quiet, answers to our problems can find us. You know, when we're meditating, we're being still, we're being quiet. Clarity and wisdom can flow our way when we're when we're in that kind of state. So a lot of times we feel confused about what should we be doing with the narcissist? What should I be saying? What shouldn't I be saying? Sometimes if we just be still and be quiet and allow our mind to be as still as possible, these answers will start to become obvious to us as we're meditating on them. You know, in another way, prayer, of course, another form of meditation. All right, so the fifth reason that I have to uh, let you know why your silence will be golden and powerful when, when dealing with a narcissist is you can gain dignity from it. You can gain dignity from that. Because every every reply or everything someone says to you doesn't even deserve your response. Because we have to admit, sometimes they say nasty, degrading things to us and they're just stepping all out of how we deserve to even be spoken to or approached in any type of conversation or interaction. And it doesn't even, and it isn't even worthy of any type of energy from us other than the energy flow stopping. (laughs) where we're not even addressing it. Like, this is so beneath me. Um, You know, they're calling you all types of bitches and stuff. I'm not a bitch. I'm not even going to respond to that. This is what I'm talking about right now. And it also lets them know, hey, I don't talk to people that talk to me like this. It's not even worthy of an acknowledgement or a response or a reply from me. And you're not going to get that. I mean, of course, you're not saying that to them, but you are in your actions. You're, you are in your actions. And I've said in many videos that your actions will always speak louder to a narcissist than what you say. Just like their actions speak louder to us. It should, even though they got us hooked on what they said. But as we learn about narcissistic abuse and moving forward, we're going to learn to look at a person's actions. Those are always going to be stronger, guys always going to be stronger. So I hope these five tips will help you. And, you know, as far as the gaining the dignity, that hinces or it goes along with the no contact. That goes along with no contact. That is the ultimate level of silence that the narcissist surely deserves to get. That's the ultimate level. And this, these are some reasons why we should do that. Okay, guys? So if this video resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys are hitting the bell so that you're getting the um, notifications when I upload the videos. Um, always feel free to share any and all of my videos. If you are struggling, if you are stuck in trying to heal from this toxic relationship, I have written books to help people heal from toxic relationships. That information is in the description guys. I also offer coaching via email, um, via telephone, via Skype. So uh, you can look into that if you're interested as well. Thank you for tuning into my channel guys and until next time take care.